सो अ ग्रेट डे एज फार एज डे सेवन एट द पैरिस ओलंपिक्स आर कंसर्न वी सो लक्ष्य सेन क्वालिफाइंग फॉर द सेमीफाइनल ऑफ द ओलंपिक गेम्स ही बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन टू डू सो इन एन ओलंपिक गेम्स एवर वी सो मनु भाकर क्वालिफाई फॉर एन अदर फाइनल सो अ ग्रेट डे वी टॉक अबाउट डे सेवन बट टूडे डे एट कुड बी अ हिस्टोरिक हिस्टोरिक डे फॉर द इंडियंस एट द पैरिस ओलंपिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी टेलिंग यू वाई इज दैट इन दिस वीडियो लाइक ऑलवेज आई एम गोइंग टू बी टेलिंग यू वॉट इज इंडिया स्केड्यूल गोइंग टू बी लाइक एट द ओलंपिक्स गेम First up, we'll have uh, Anand Singh Narutha at in the skeet men's qualification. It's day two of this event. It's at 12:30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Uh, but as far as day one is concerned, he was on position 22nd. But only the top eight shooters will qualify for the final. The final is today only, later today. But Anand, as far as the positions are concerned, is at 22nd right now, and he needs to do really, really well to get into the. top 8 position he will definitely try but the chances of that look really really less but keep your eyes on him at 12:30 pm two female shooters would be uh, taking part in the women's skeet qualification it's day 2 uh, it's day 1 of that it's a multi day event uh, raiza dhillo and maheshwari 12:30 pm again both of them will take part it's uh, like i told you multi day event both of them will try to do really well so that when they come out on day 2 they are around that qualification mark so that they qualify for the final and then you we, we have seen how well the shooters have done till now in the olympics so expectations will be really high from these two when they come out tomorrow sort of a heartbreak in archery yesterday we saw ankita and dhiraj uh, so miss out on that bro bronze medal but today an, a, a fresh day dipika kumari and bhajan kaur who qualified for the next round after doing great in their individual events both of them will be seen in the round of 1 uh, by 8 elimination round of 16 dipika kumari you'll see her in action at 150 pm and just after that you will see bhajan kaur at 25 pm and if if either one of them wins or both of them wins we will see the results of this uh, of this uh, this event it, tomorrow itself so very well could be that either one of them or both you might just get one medal from archery at last after the heartbreak we saw yesterday so keep your eyes on 150 pm dipika kumari and 25 pm bhajan kaur for their elimination round in the women's individual archery Golf men's individual round 12:30 p.m. It's day three of this uh, event. Shubhankar Sharma and Gaganjit, both of them are really down as far as the positions are concerned, and they would like to notch, go a little notch above as far as this game, their game is concerned, because just one more round is left after this. 12:30 p.m. is when this event also starts. The marquee event of today, Manu Bhakar back in action, women's 25 meters. Crystal final. It could be a very, very historic day for Manu. She could become the first Indian to do uh, do so, winning three medals at one Olympic Games. And all the expectations this time are of that gold medal. Again and again, she has repeated this thing that she is eyeing this gold medal, and this is her favorite place, and this is where she would love to do it. Her her marquee event, her main event, the women's 25 meter crystal event. This is where she lost out last time, and she would want to change what happened. Three years back in tokyo and come back with two bronze medals and one uh, olympic gold medal so all eyes will be on her 1 pm is when you will see manu bhakar in action in the 25 meter pistols final sailing is going on it's going to be race 4 and 5 today we have netra uh, netra and vishnu both of them in action vishnu as far as the uh, standings are concerned is on the 22nd position right now only the top 10 sailors qualify for the final but there could be a good news for netra who is on the 11th position right now and if she ends up getting in that top 10 and qualify for the final it would be a historic historic day for india a women qualifying in the sailing event for the final so it could be a great great day for netra 5:50 pm is when you will have her race and vishnu will be action at 3:50 pm so keep your eyes on the sailors also 
and then the last event of the day will be the men's 71 kg quarter finals 12 15 am indian standard time you'll see nishan dev against his uh, against marco at his mexican opponent 12 15 and if he ends up winning this bout he will assure a medal for india another medal for india he will assure because as soon as you go into the semi finals in the boxing event you assure a medal because in all, both the semi finalists get a bronze medal even if he loses in that semi final you he will still be coming back home with a bronze medal and he could even go on and better the color of his medal so 12 15 pm men 71 kg quarter finals nishan dev who convincingly won his first game uh, round of 16 now he would definitely want to progress in the olympic games and that too with with another medal for the indian contingent 12 15 pm am is when you will see him in action so it could be a historic, historic day for India, for Manu Bhakar and it could, and the weekend could sort of become really, really well for India at the Paris Olympics 2024. You know where you will be getting all the updates, all the latest information, your one-stop destination, it is Sports Today.